Good morning, everyone. I really do hope that you're well and that you're all really looking forward to the last two weeks of term and then spending some nice time away from school, relaxing at the end of this very, very long half term. Sadly, my assembly this morning is going to focus on something quite awful that happened a number of weeks ago and which has caused an incredible amount of hurt and upset to some of our staff and to their families. The hurt that was caused was done through social media and in particular TikTok. Next I am going to show you some still images from a video that you're going to see in full at the end of this assembly. In the first screenshot you can see a young lady dancing, enjoying herself, entertaining people but all of those people around are taking photographs, taking videos and so on. And guess what happens next? In the second screenshot, look, that's gone viral. That image has been shared around the world. And look at those people's faces. They are laughing at her. They think it's funny, it's hilarious. And it is very, very sad. What a shame. These images sort of explain what has happened in our school. Images of staff were taken, were stolen from our website, from YouTube and so on, and put up on TikTok with horrific messages attached. Now, as you can imagine, as a result of this, the members of staff involved were devastated and they felt that this was the worst thing that could have ever happened to them. It was no laughing matter. It hurt them and it hurt their families. It made them feel that school was not a safe place for them and social media definitely was not a safe or a good place for them. This is terrible and should never ever happen again. Now I want to be clear with you. If anyone puts a message, a video or an image of a member of staff online without their permission then this will be the course of action. The pupil, if identified, will be excluded from school. The police will be informed and we will encourage the members of staff concerned to press charges. In addition, anyone who likes or comments on the posts in any way, unless they are saying that the posts are terrible and that they should be removed, will also be faced with the same sanctions. And if it does continue in any way, then I will be seriously forced to look at how I can make the school a safer place for everyone. Now, I can't control what happens outside school, but in school, one thing that I have to consider is a complete and absolute ban on mobile phones and any personal technology. Pupils who bring these into school will have them confiscated and they will only be handed back when the parents or carers collect them at the end of the week. Now let's hope we don't get to that stage. So I've given you a clear message. If you post on social media about a staff member in this school, then action will be taken against you. In addition... If you like or comment on a post, action will be taken against you. Now I'm going to show you the video in full. It's an excellent video, an excellent animation, which shows you about the bad, the negative impact that social media can have on us all. And I want you to watch the video and try to spot how many issues you can see that social media causes.
Thank you for watching this video. And maybe you can use the animation as a discussion in your check-in and check-out sessions in the next few days with your form tutor. This has been a very sad time for us as a school, where a number of our staff have been deeply, deeply hurt. You all now know what will happen if this continues. I know you as pupils. I know you will do something positive and ensure that this never ever happens again. Thank you.